Hello everyone, Redzer from Soy Chincha here and welcome back to another episode of Ichimi. Realme in Malaysia has introduced the GT Neo 2, their newest flagship smartphone. It features a 120Hz AMOLED display and runs on a Snapdragon 875G chip. In other news, Astro could start streaming Netflix on their Ultrabox as early as next week. Alright, so without further ado, let's just jump into it. Apple's Fitness Plus is finally available in Malaysia after almost a year since its initial launch. It's a fitness subscription service for Apple Watch users that provides visual workout guides that you can follow with your iPhone, iPad, or Apple TV. Fitness Plus is officially priced at 19 ringgit and 90 cents per month in Malaysia, but you can save up to 50% if you pay for a full year. You also get a one month free trial and three months free if you recently bought an Apple Watch. Fitness Plus is available for Apple Watch Series 3 and above, running on watchOS 7.2 or later. You'll also need to use the fitness app on your iPhone with iOS 15, iPad with iPad OS 15, or Apple TV with TV OS 15. Apple Fitness Plus offers a variety of workouts and fitness programs such as HIIT, yoga, and Pilates. However, some workouts may require extra equipment like dumbbells. You could also use it in a group via SharePlay, which allows you to work out with up to 32 people. Personally, I just signed up for the free trial last night and I got a couple workouts in. I think it's pretty cool so far, but I'd like to hear what you think in the comments below. Realme Malaysia has just introduced the GT Neo 2, which is their newest flagship class smartphone. The Realme GT Neo 2 comes with a 6.62 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display that pushes 120Hz refresh rate. It boasts a 5 million to 1 contrast ratio and a peak brightness of 1300 nits. Under the hood, it runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 chip, which supports 5G. It has a triple camera setup that consists of a 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 4 megapixel macro camera. Up front, it gets a 16 megapixel selfie camera that sits on a punch hole in the top left of the screen. Powering the device is a generous 5000 milliamp hour battery with 65 watt fast charging via USB C. According to Realme, you can get 100% charge in less than 36 minutes. Out of the box, it runs on Android 11 with a Realme UI 2.0 skin on top. It also has an in-display fingerprint sensor as well as NFC support. The Realme GT Neo 2 with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage is officially priced at 2,099 ringgit in Malaysia. During its first day sale at 12am on November, you can get it for 1999 ringgit on Lazada and Shopee. The phone comes in two colors, Neo Blue and Neo Green. Speaking of Realme, the Realme Pad has officially arrived in Malaysia. This is Realme's first tablet, featuring a 10.4-inch display and a quad speaker setup for less than 1,000 ringgit. The Realme Pad has a 10.4-inch 2000 by 1200 LCD display, and it runs on a 12 nanometer MediaTek Hello G80 processor. Powering the device is a 7100 milliamp hour battery, which Realme claims can get you 12 hours of continuous video playback. It supports 18 watt fast charging via USB-C, as well as reverse charging. Out of the box, it runs on Android 11 with a Realme UI skin on top. The Realme Pad comes in a total of four variants. With Wi-Fi, three gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of storage, it's priced at 899 ringgit. The LTE version of that goes for 949 ringgit. LTE, four gigs of RAM, and 64 gigs of storage goes for 999 ringgit. And finally, LTE, 6 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage goes for 1199 ringgit. The tablet comes in gray and gold, and the first sale is happening at midnight at November 11th, 2021. As part of the introductory offer, Realme is offering 100 ringgit off for their 32 gigabyte models. This means the Wi Fi version is going for 799 ringgit, and the LTE version is going for 849 ringgit. Astro has announced a partnership with Netflix that will enable their subscribers to stream Netflix on their Ultra and Ulti connected boxes. It appears that this might be available very soon, thanks to a teaser uploaded by Netflix themselves. Netflix has dropped a huge red notice card at Astro's headquarters in Bukit Jello. Red Notice is an action thriller movie starring Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot. This teaser means that Astro subscribers might be able to stream the movie on Netflix on 12th of November. At the moment, Astro has not revealed any Netflix pricing or details, but we're guessing it might be similar to the Disney Plus Hotstar rollout. The company is also holding an event on the 9th of November revealing a new Astro experience, so we might know more info during that time. Alright, that's it for me today. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to Soichin Chao, follow our TikTok, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!